I don't remember ever wanting to do anything but science. My name is Heather Lynch, and I'm an associate professor of ecology and evolution at Stony Brook University. A typical day in our life is that my husband and I will get up at about 6.30 in the morning, and we get our daughter ready for school. And then at the end of the day, one of us will meet the bus. And if I do that, uh, usually she and I will go to the library, which is her favorite place to go. And then after my daughter's gone to bed, my husband and I will usually go back to work for another two or three hours in the evening until we can't do any more. And then we go to bed. Because I have a joint appointment between the Institute for Advanced Computational Sciences and Ecology and Evolution, I have two labs and I have two offices. So a lot of my day is spent running back and forth between those two buildings. I enjoy both teaching and also being an advisor to graduate students doing independent research. When I started college, I started in chemical engineering and then I fell in love with physics and I switched to physics and then I fell in love with applied math and ecology and I transferred into ecology. And now that I'm a faculty member, I've been able to move into computer science and computer vision, and there's not a single part of science and engineering that I don't love. I count penguins, both in the field, counting them one by one, but also counting them from satellite imagery, where we can see their guano stain, actually the excrement left behind at the colony, and we can use that to estimate the number of penguins that are at each site in Antarctica. The main focus of our research is quite simple. We want to understand the distribution and abundance of Antarctic penguins. So in short, we want to know where penguins are breeding and how many penguins there are in Antarctica and how their populations might be changing and why. One of the major areas of focus for my career has been developing tools to use satellite imagery as a means of surveying penguin colonies throughout Antarctica. And that has required us to combine remote sensing with computer vision, which is a very new and exciting area. I also build mathematical models that can help explain why penguin populations are changing and how we might expect them to change into the future. Studying penguins is really critical to our understanding of how climate change and fishing and other impacts are changing the wildlife in some of the world's most remote places. Penguins are perhaps the only species that we can now track across their entire global range. By studying how penguins are affected by climate change and other factors, we may be able to understand how animals in other parts of the world will also be affected. One of the most important parts of our research from my perspective is the ability to connect the science to the policy and to try and help Antarctic policymakers protect the environment. We discovered that there are more penguins in the Danger Islands than the entire rest of the Antarctic Peninsula combined. The proposed marine protected area has been expanded to include this important area. You have to go into the field work with the right attitude because every day is a new challenge and you can never predict what's gonna happen once you're actually out there. The way that Bill Fagan combined mathematics and ecology really spoke to me at an important part of my career. Heather's absolutely a pioneer. She's simultaneously cutting edge in three or four different areas. And that package is what makes her stand out, even among other elite scientists. What makes her unique is her multi-dimensionality. Heather has worked for more than a decade to bring the best possible science in front of the treaty decision makers. And it's really making a difference as they're able to work with science that's actionable. It's science that can form the basis of decision making. Heather is going to be one of the scientific leaders of her generation. As someone who has never really fit solidly into any discipline, it is so gratifying and I'm very honored to be recognized as a scientist and recognized as a life scientist, even though my background is somewhat untraditional. My dream is to someday become a professor of science and to do research and teach across all the science departments here on campus.